This is a Fox 17 winter weather alert. All right, welcome back, everybody. It is 11, 12 and a half on this Wednesday morning. We've gotten some sunshine so far. That is a good thing, but it has been quite cold. Temperatures only in the middle 20s as we speak with wind chills down into the teens. So I'm scanning around on the tower cam and of course with sunshine you don't anticipate any precipitation. So we're going to keep it dry at noon, make it to 26 or 27. We'll top out at 30 or thereabouts uh, by day's end. If anything, we'd probably come up a degree shy of 30 today, but right around it. Mostly cloudy skies in towards 7 o'clock and an east northeast wind about 5 to 10 miles per hour. I think we're dry though through 7, 8 o'clock in Grand Rapids. And uh, overall, this system is looking quite meager for the local Grand Rapids area and to the north. I do still think we can get an inch out of this locally, but there is going to be a sharp cutoff to where it turns into a trace amount and then probably virtually nothing uh, once you get northward to Big Rapids. The official winter weather advisories where the purple shaded counties are and those are to the south of I-96. This is where your best shot of getting, say, uh, two to three inches and the best shot of the greater amounts will be the further south you reside in that uh, portion of our viewing area. The further north you go and to the northwest, lesser amounts. This is off the European model. This is from several hours back. Taking a look at new information, uh, it does appear as though the, the, the top edge, the north edge of this will be cut off pretty quickly. So I think Fremont and Big Rapids probably even lesser than what's shown there and amounts to the south. Probably pretty, I would say, on a par with uh, the newer information that's coming out at the moment. 24 degrees in GR, 23 in Ionia. It's mid to upper 20s along the immediate lakeshore around the Midwest. You can see there are some teens in Minnesota and Wisconsin. How about over towards Denver, Colorado at six degrees, Scotts Bluff, Nebraska also in the middle single digits. So some cold air is on the map and more so than we've seen over the past few weeks. An east breeze about five to 15 miles per hour, sometimes out of the east northeast direction. That'll continue through the day. Feels like temperatures or wind chills running in the middle teens, so it is a quite of a cold day. At least we're getting some of that sun right now. Light sticking snow overnight tonight into Thursday. Folks, the snowflakes are going to be very small and it's going to come down very lightly, but uh, for a good number of hours. So slick travel certainly early tomorrow, perhaps even some slick travel into the afternoon at times with lingering snow showers. And then as we get into the weekend, still the risk for a few flurries or a couple snow showers, but I don't see any big accumulations of snow coming. It doesn't really look like any time soon. High pressure cells that are kind of working together to block this incoming system, but they are fading their impact around the Midwest. So in comes some more clouds. I would think by three, four o'clock, we're starting to trend towards mainly cloudy skies and then an overcast by sundown. And by the way, sunset today is now six o'clock. So these days are getting longer by a couple minutes plus each and every occasion. Take a look at the winter weather advisories in the purple. You get into winter storm warnings further down to the southwest as this system climbs northeastward. It's actually weakening a bit and running into a bit of dry air. So that's the reason why the winter storm warnings are not extending towards lower Michigan. Watch the models from 7 o'clock towards 10, 11 o'clock. We see an expansion of some of this light snow shower activity, but it has a real tough time going much farther northward than Kent County. And this is off the RPM model, which is actually further north than some of the other models at the current time. So right around Grand Rapids, that latitude is where we're going to see the snow shut off to just some flurries to the north. You go southward, though. Oh, some decent banding of snow and a light to moderate snow late night tonight into the overnight. So it's those vicinities, Kalamazoo, Battle Creek and Southward, that got the best shot. Alyssa and Nicole of getting two, three inches of snow. It's not going to be a ton of snow, but enough to cause problems. So uh, we'll talk more about in the upcoming segments and we'll see you then. Well,